Hi, it's Brandy from Scrap Story in here and also a member of the Wild Hair Kits design team. And I just want to do a quick unboxing video for you of my October Petite Kit. So the last couple of unboxings that I've done for August and September, and I've got links below um, to those, have been for a deluxe kit from the Wild Hair Kits. And this time we are going with a Petite Kit. So a smaller kit, a lower price point, still amazing amount of goodies to do all kinds of stuff with. So without further ado, here is my unboxing unboxing video. So for this month I had asked for, um, I let Allison know at the Wild Hair Kits that I have a some hikes that I want to put in a traveler's notebook I think in that format and I don't have many pictures and they're very much like rainy stony <laughs> green um, walks and it was I was by myself and it was kind of pre-selfies this is 2008 and um pre-selfies and as well it was bad weather and I wasn't feeling so great on some of the hikes. So I don't have many photos so I needed some some good color that would go with these but would also give me opportunity for stories because that's mostly how I'm going to be telling about this trip. So with that in mind this is the amazing kit that I was sent and again this is a petite kit. So um, I'll start with oh because I have to because they're beautiful. These are um, exclusively designed um, sequins from uh, Spiegel Mom Scraps for the Wild Hair Kits and I'm hoping you can see in there that there's blues, there's a bit of pink, there's um, gold. The gold ones are solid, so they look like stand out really well against the blue. So those are those ones right now. And those are exclusive to the Wild Hair Kit. And I think they're just perfect. The other thing that um, was included is from Color Cast Design, and these it's wood veneer. And these are these awesome sayings, which again, I made it really clear I don't have a lot of photos and I needed those kind of story prompts and would be a lot of journaling. And these are going to be perfect for that. So these say things like the best moment, on the road again, the food, finding adventure, the worst moment, love that, <laughs> the weather, uh, weekend getaway, and the site. So I think those will be really great for, for journal prompts. As well included is from Pink Fresh, and this is the Let Your Heart Decide collection, and these are the leatherette stickers. So these will be great for stories as well. And there's a good green, a lot about journal prompts here as well. I think those will go really well. And again, I'm doing a traveler's notebook. So the fact that these are super thin, as you can see, they're not going to add a lot of bulk to the traveler's notebook. But because they're leatherette, they have a texture. So I think it's going to still give that same look of a really good kind of chunky embellishment without being chunky at all. So that's great. Oh, and I love thickers. I always ask for thickers. Um, this is the one of a kind. Uh, this is the chipboard phrase stickers from Thickers um, and lots of good sayings here. So hello friend, this day, beautiful arrows are always perfect. Love this big long adventure right here. I think it's gonna be fabulous. One of a kind, smile big, collect moments. So I think this is gonna be great. And these arrows are just wonderful as embellishments on any page, even if you don't end up using a word. So they just pop nicely. And again, they're quite thin, even though they look like they're a big chipboard. So I think that's also hugely helpful for a traveler's notebook. So good on that. And then with the petite kit, in my case, I've got four pieces of pattern paper that were included and I will walk you through those. So this is a pink fresh and this is a botanical and dark green, uh, dark blue with a dark green botanical kind of leaves there. And this is from the BU collection from pink fresh. And you can see the other side there is just an absolutely awesome black and white. This is one of those cases where you get a piece of paper and you love both the A and the B side, which <laughs> always makes it a little bit tough, but also I really, a kind of a nice problem to have if you will oh man I oh, I'm beginning to really like florals um, okay so this is from one canoe Two. this is the the Twilight collection and this is a great floral Ooh, I'm tempted to kind of in my mind already this is a background but also there's some fussy cutting happening so we will see and then a great background here I think town's tooth in like a peachy pink it's not a true pink or a true peach so I think that's a really nice color that's great and that I think is going to look really good. You can see how she's matched those over at the wild hair. Beautiful. So this is again from the One Can You Two Twilight Collection. So bringing in that, the, again, that dark blue and that green, that peachy pink color, and then just some really great um, items for... Um, for a hike and I love this which I didn't let Allison know but this is just how it always works out so well hey in the scrappy world is while I'm hiking alone I tend to read like a really big novel every couple of days and I just take one and leave one every time I go to a BnB and b or a hostel so I never go away and get to pick from a bookstore I just see there's always a bookshelf of like you know leave one take one books and I have discovered the most amazing books that way stuff I would never pick but that's kind of all that's there that 
piqued my interest and then it ends up being fabulous. So I'm excited to tell that story because that's a big part of my travel. And I love this. This is just kind of a botanical and it's like a yellowy brown kind of with a tinge of a little tinge of green into it. Like it's just fabulous. So hopefully that comes through because that's a great color and pattern. And then here's this guy, and this is as well from the One Canoe Two Twilight. And this is some journal prompts. Oh, you're a peach. That is too cute. Um, so again, some journal cards, which is fabulous. I love this. Completely and perfectly and incandescently happy. Oh, Jane Austen, you're so good. So those are really fun, and I love the little fireflies in there. And then this is the backside. So this is fabulous as well. I think this is going to be really great. As a background, I also think this would be a fun fussy cut as kind of the messy cross or the X's that people have been using lately in the scrapbook trend. And the one thing I do love about One Canoe too is that all of their branding strips are absolutely wonderful for you know, kind of paper strip designs. So that's really great. The one thing that I did get in my petite kit that is not usual, and I'm gonna just put it against this dark background here so you can see it, is the October cut file. So the generally speaking, the, the petite kits don't come with the cut file, but I have to say, I don't have one of the magic machines that cut these, and so I always ask Allison for them um, because I do love playing with them. I just don't have the machine that does it. And again, in the nature and spirit of her concept of the hand curated kit, I asked for the cut file and she hand curated that for me. So that's what the cut file looks like for October. So for those of you getting the deluxe kit, you will get the, the cut file. Um, and then, you know, for the petite kit, you'll have to specifically ask for it and see what, what Alice can do for you there on the, the hand curated kits part. But I love it and I'm such a hexagon girl. My nickname is B. Most people don't call me my full name Brandy that are super close to me. So there's always room for hexagons in my scrapbook room. So. Um, yeah, so that is my petite kit for October. Um, I'm excited to get this unboxing video done because as soon as I'm done editing this, I am going to start playing with this. So enjoy your October. <laughs>